Hi everyone, I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, making this video right now, um, the market is still open. Um, I just wanted to break down a few trades I took today, um, how you could have traded them, how you could have made money, and how to manage risk on certain trade setups. Um, first off, before we get in the video, uh, today has been overall super choppy. The Dow is down, I think, around 600 points at the time of making this video. Um, and overall, markets are just going against us in selling off hard. Um, so you got to keep that in mind when day trading. So um, you just got to keep that in mind that um, a lot of times when the overall markets are selling off, so will the overall little stocks um, pull back too. Because I think it's one out of every four stocks follow the overall market, something like that, or three out of four, something like that. But anyway, um, especially with these lower cap stocks, um, it just shows if the market's going, to, if the overall direction's going against you. Uh, theoretically, a lot of other traders will be pulling out and not trading them. So um, let's just break it down. So this is ticker symbol SV, um, SVRE. Um, this stock recently went public um, not too long ago, I believe. Um, and then I think it had a little bit of hype and a little catalyst around it that pushed it up today. Um, don't know much about it. I just took the trade because I saw a good setup. Um, so overall uptrend, solid pattern. You can see over here, if you're just playing the resistance breakouts, um, there's a lot of money to be made in that. See, every time it broke resistance, it spiked, consolidated, um, and then eventually broke resistance again. So that was kind of my overall idea when getting in it up here. Consolidated, I saw these two green candlesticks. That's where I entered. Um, and then after the red one, I added a little bit down here, rode these two up, and I saw this big red one. Um, and then it started consolidating. I saw it got rejected around this resistance point. And that's when I was like, all right, it's probably time to start scaling out of this. Um, I ended up selling on these two little candlesticks right here, getting completely out at, um, I think it was around 88, uh, 388 a share. And then I bought, I think my average was around $4 a share too. Um, and then I, and then I see it start to spike. I see that it's going towards the bounce on resistance I meant support, um, so I knew that a hey, if it does break support, we're gonna get this. Um, so I knew that you know, hey, it didn't break out a failed breakout, most likely won't break out. So now I got to get out of it and manage risk. I think I got out for a twenty dollar loss. I'm not complaining. I'm happy um, because I knew what was gonna happen before it happened. So I was right, and that's kind of what makes me the most happy is just knowing I was right on a trade. I knew it was going to pull back um, after it broke below the support line. Uh, these lines aren't perfect. I kind of threw them together pretty qu uh, quickly um, in the midst of day trading this. So anyway, it broke below the support of 380. I got out before then, thank God, and then it knifed, and it kept knifing all the way down here. Um, another thing to keep in mind, when the stock is knifing like this, your orders probably won't get filled on this red candle just because it's too much selling and no real buyers to buy it. So... Um, you're most likely going to get stuck down here around 360 a share. You probably won't even be able to get out in the 370 range uh, just because there's so much selling pressure. And then after that, overall selling off. Um, and notice how the volume's been dying down too. Um, so simple support and resistance. Um, also, I had the EMA line. I don't know why this always takes off my indicators, but I did have the EMA um, EMA line on there, and it did break below it at this point. Let me, I can pull it up uh, just for the other chart. Um, all right. Oh, my. Why isn't this working? Okay, so EMA, moving average. There we go. I don't know why this doesn't save um, my things. Simple exponential. And we'll set it at a length of 10. All right, so we'll just put that up so I can show you where it broke below it. Um, all right, why is this not popping up on my screen? Let's try it again. All right, anyway, I'm going to break down the other stock just because I don't want to waste time with this. Um, it's super annoying how this does this. I need to get a better trading platform because think or swim sometimes sucks. Um, so now we're going to break down ticker symbol G-O-E-V. Um, this had recent news and Catalyst. Um, I also have another screen going over here, too. So it's probably slowing down my computer. Um, so I might have to pause this and come back to the video real quick.